Hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is our What's Buzzing at the, v the Bee live stream. Um, this is where we go around the store and show you all of our new fabrics and notions and kits and all of the good stuff that we've gotten in the past week. So, well, we've got a lot to cover today, so we're just gonna jump into it. Um, first off, you may notice that we have changed our front entry area. Um, last week, it was all patriotic. We have since switched, and now we have this lovely fall display. So for anybody who wants to get a head start on all of their wonderful fall projects, we've got lots of fun fall stuff this time around. Um, as you can see, it's just a beautiful array of a fall color palette. They did a lovely job at redecorating this area. I love this um, table runner that we have up here. This is the Elixir uh, Kingston table runner. This one we use the um, some Ruby Star Society fabric, um, mainly from the Elixir line, but we've got some uh, spark in there and we've got some starries in there as well. Um, so that one is right here. I love this. Uh, kit because it comes with the whole book the table tastic three it has this pattern in there um, and you get all of the fabric to do this one um, but you also get the book so all of the wonderful patterns in here you get that as well so i love this kit for that reason all of these goodies and then we do have a few new lines we're still waiting on some of our fall stuff that's going to be coming in soon so you'll see that hopefully in the next few weeks um, but first off we did get in this lovely line from three wishes this is pick of the patch it's just a small little line just five bolts but would be a wonderful um, fabric collection for maybe a table runner, a small quilt. This bolt right here has some lovely patches. So at all of these cute little scenes, so you could cut those up and do something with that, make it really um, sort of scrappy, or you could keep it, kind of do it as like a panel. And then there's also this really fun truck fabric. So it's got those cute little trucks with the pumpkins in the back. This one is um, kind of unique because it's got the orange truck in this really pretty teal truck instead of kind of the um, more common red truck. So I love that it's a little different, kind of more fitting for fall. So that one is very cute. And then if we come around this way, we've got more wrapped around here. We have a little cuddle display we're gonna show you in a second, but first I'll show off this lovely fall panel that we have. This one is the sun up, sun down panel. It's a lovely autumnal scene here. I love the changing leaves in the background. That one's very pretty. And then it has a couple bolts that go with it. So this cool like hay texture. So that one would be nice. And then this one with these really pretty changing leaves beautiful color there so you could do something some little borders or something around the panel make it super cute add some of your own fabrics in there if you'd like um but yeah that one is gorgeous so definitely we'll have fun with that one okay and then right here as you can see we've got a whole cuddle display we've received two shipments in the past week so we have some of your standard cuddle uh, in the 60 wide here. So this beautiful navy, we've got this sort of sage color, some neutrals. And then on this side over here, before we get into the luxe cuddle, we've got the 90 wide in all sorts of colors as well. These are our new ones. We do still have a few other colors over in our cuddle section, but these are the ones that we just got in. Um, so these are extra wide, so those are super nice for quilt backings. Um, we love to do that because then they're very cozy and cuddly. My personal favorite is the Luxe Cuddle 
from Shannon Fabrics. These ones are a sort of higher loft, sort of uh, thicker texture, really fluffy, super soft. Um, so we love these ones. Uh, this one here I'm doing on the back of the sample soon, so you'll probably see that one in the future. This one is nice. It's got a higher loft as well, a higher, um, you can see just how thick that one is. It's gorgeous. We love that one. It's super, super soft. I could just do this all day. <laughs> and then we also received some fun sort of holiday themed cuddles. So we've got these adorable little snowmen doing uh, snow angels. This one has the little patches. This one would be adorable on the back of a Christmas quilt. Could definitely see that one. And then these ones I'm super excited about. These are the Higher Loft Cuddles, the Lux Cuddle, and they've got these sort of embossed snowflakes in them, which is really neat. It's a little more subtle, but still a little bit of that wintry feel with that really luxurious cuddle. So this would be wonderful on the back of a cozy winter quilt. I have a quilt that we did the kit a few years ago um, with a Figo winter line and I did the cuddle on the back of it and I use it all the time because it creates just this really cozy weight and it's super soft. So I really love the cuddles. They're so, so wonderful. Okay. So now we'll move on over here to this area. We're just going to stop by and show off some of our solids. We just have gotten a two restocks of solids, a uh, painter's palette from Paintbrush Studios. And we also have, uh, we got some from Kona from Robert Kaufman. So we have um, a whole restock. We've still got lots of art gallery, Michael Miller, lots of other solids. Um, but we're practically bursting with solids right now. So lots of colors to choose from. We know how important it is to get the right color match for all of your fabrics. So we really do like having a really nice variety of, of solids. So we've got more on this side, more of our pinks and reds and purples. Okay, and now we're gonna loop back around this way to show off our batiks. Our batik section, we also just had a giant restock. So we ended up actually putting a lot of our um, older batiks in the sale hall. So you can find those in the back, which is always great. We love our sale hall. Um, but we also refreshed our whole batik aisle. So you can see just lots of new batiks. We've got lots of color lots of new colors, lots of new prints. Um, so we're very excited about all of the ones that we've got here. We got um, both the watercolor, and we got a lot of new watercolor batiks in where it's just kind of this um, one main color in this really gorgeous watercolor texture. We've got a lot of new colors in these. So you can see we've got like a pretty gradient here of some of the new, new colors. And then we also got a few new um, prints here and there. So one of the new ones, we got um, some of these really pretty dots, which is a wonderful blender. Some of these stripes in different colors as well. So lots of new stuff in Batik, so you'll definitely have to come in and just go through all of them, uh, find your favorites. Uh, we were super excited to restock all the Batiks. It's a very satisfying process of building up the color again. So very fun. We've got more on this side in more of the neutral tones. So very excited about that. Definitely come on in and check those out. Okay, and next up we have this adorable line. Um, this is all flannel. This one is Feelin' Frosty. 
So more of a winter line. It's got some nice uh, main prints and then some cute little blenders as well. The penguins are pretty adorable. And then yeah, some great blenders that go with this line. We just got in more of our, one of our favorite patterns, the Kalinda pattern. Super easy sort of four patch, large block alternating uh, quilt. It's one of our little postcard patterns. I'm gonna show you a little later up at the front counter, but um, this line would be absolutely adorable if you wanna do just like a, a quick little fun wintry quilt. And then we've got some of our fun little cuddle projects up here too, since we kind of uh, got more of that cuddle in, I'll sort of focus on these as well. So we've got some really fun uh, cuddle blanket books, which are always super fun. So we've got it in the woodland one, and we also have the farm option. And then a couple of our fun little cuddle kit blankets. So we've got some planes and the rainbow. Those make wonderful baby blankets because they're so soft, so it's just very cuddly for baby. Okay, and I'm gonna head to the back here. So right back here, we're, we've got our Christmas, but I'll kind of take a step back because we're gonna look at a kit really quick that's hanging up a little higher. So this one just right behind us, right up here, this is Golden Christmas. This is a fun little Christmas quilt. You've got your uh, little panel in the middle with the cute little golden puppies, cute little scene, and then some fun little patchwork around the border area. So definitely your Christmas colors. You've got that um, red and black buffalo check, um, some cute little Christmas words. So I'll come right back here and I'll show you where that one is. The panel is right here. So the panel is sold separately as well. So this is the cute little panel up close. And then we do have the uh, pattern sold separately as well, which is just right here. If maybe you want to use a different panel in there, you like the pattern. I like how the corners are a little different. You've got those kind of inverted corners there. This is the whole kit for the project. If you do want to just, you know, grab it, have everything ready to go, which is always really nice and makes the process a little easier. So it's in this cute little Christmassy bag. And then if you do want, we still do have some more of the fabrics as well. And this one is from Northcott and they include some of their basics. So we've got their Crackle Basic mixed in here, which is lovely. That's what's used in parts of the borders of the, the quilt there. Um, yeah, so we've got this cute little holiday section. Um, we are still growing our Christmas, so it's ever expanding. Um, we've kind of got it from here, here. We've got a little bit um, back here that we showed off last week. So our Cory Dantini and some of our um, novelty prints in there. Cute little snowmen. We will keep building up our Christmas. Um, and we'll just keep showing you as we get more. We'll probably eventually move it to a different section where it's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, but we're holding off until we get a little bit more Christmas um, and it gets a little closer to that time where you want to start working on it. One other thing I want to point out really quick is this wonderful quilt kit that's right up here. This is the new fabric from V & Co. It's that gorgeous ombre that they create, but this one has these lovely snowflakes, these metallic snowflakes on it, on those ombre prints. So you can see how they use it in this tree. They work from dark to light to create a really um, beautiful quilt. 
we will be getting the fabric in i believe so we'll have that but for right now we do have that kit all put together in that really fun little box which is super handy so that will be back here in our christmas section and we'll let you know when we get that ombre stuff in and we'll work our way through Civil War here. And on the end cap right here, we have the brand new line from Kim Deal. This is uh, Willow Hollow. These colors are absolutely gorgeous because they are so deep and rich, but still have that brightness to them with that lighter teal in there. Got lots of different prints as she's known for. So things to work with if you want to do some uh, patchworky stuff. It's always really fun. I would say this line is definitely a wonderful summer option if you love working with uh, reproduction stuff because um, yeah these colors are just beautiful and vibrant um, but still staying true to that more subdued um, Civil War era style with all of these small, beautiful prints. So we really love this line. Okay, and then right behind us here, we're gonna go down here. Um, as you know, since we talked about before, all of the uh, patriotic stuff is now moved back over here. So this whole section is now our Halloween section. So you can see we've got all of our Halloween on this whole wall right here. So we've got some of our favorites throughout here. We recently just got in this adorable line here. This is also a Three Wishes line. So it's kind of small, like the one up front, just five bolts. You've got um, some really lovely colors in here. It's more of a deep um, sort of earthy toned Halloween feel. Feels a little bit retro, but it's got some cute little uh, detail drawing on it, which makes it a little more modern. So this one is very cute. I love this one here that kind of has a patchworky look to it. You could cut these little guys out or you could um, use it as the full scale print. I think either way is nice because it's sort of set on point here so you can do a little bit more with it as the whole fabric. So that one is adorable. As I said, it's stretched all the way down here. One of the other lines that we just brought out is this one right here. This one is adorable. This one is Halloween by Moda. They put out a line similar to this one a couple years ago. It has a sort of mod retro look to it. It's got some really cute little stars in there, little cutesy animals. The little candies are adorable. And of course, your quirky little owls. This one has a panel as well, which I'll pull down here. It's quite large, so I want to make sure you can see the whole thing. So it's just this, the main owl character, the cute little bat in the corner. So this one is very fun. I believe Moda has a pattern um, to go with it if you want to check that out. Or you could, you know, add some uh, borders to it or you could add some more piecing whatever you feel like we do have a quilt kit coming for this one it's going to be really special We're very excited about it um, I'm working on it uh, it's just it involves a little bit more piecing so I'm going to need a little bit more time <laughs> but it's going to be super cute and I'm very excited to show it uh, off to you guys um, but for now we do have the yardage just right here as well We'll just take a quick little peek. We've got some of our Halloween going on this side as well. Do still have some patriotic on this half, but we're just working on um, sort of condensing it all into the one area right over here. 
so yeah, we're excited. This is going to be our little Halloween aisle. This is going to be the place to go if you're uh, looking for all of your Halloween fabric needs. So we're going to keep building this up and it's going to be super cute. Okay. And then we will come up to the counter here. We've got lots of fun things to show you here. First off, we were very excited to put this together. This is the beginner quilter kit. So we put these together ourselves. It's everything that we think you need to start your quilting journey. So all of this in here, all of us actually use. So I'll kind of go through it here. We first off, we've got this lovely project bag clear so you can see your project through it. So you know what, um, where to go, how to, you'll find it super quickly in your stash. We've got your cutting mat in here. We've got a little 18, let's see, let's pull it out here. Six and a half by 18 creative grids ruler. You've got your little measuring tape in there. You've got a seam guide, little pin cushion, some little flower head pins there, a seam ripper, <clears throat> and some wonder clips, which are absolutely great. Love using those. Um, rotary cutter there. So everything in here we highly recommend when anybody comes in here looking for uh notions when they get started quilting so we thought how great would it be to have a place where we could um, just have all of this ready to go um, we do have our beginning quilting classes every quarter too so it's going to be great to recommend this to anybody starting their quilting class also so this is going to be wonderful and it's a great price for everything that you get in here. So you can definitely come in and stop by and take a look too. Okay, then some other little notions that we're excited about. These came in and I thought they were so cute. This is some zipper by the yard, but it has this really adorable little stripe. I think that's gonna make a really cute pop in a bag. So I just had to show these off because I think they are adorable. Super excited to use those. Another thing we just got in are these oval embroidery hoops. I was super excited when these came in because anybody who you know is familiar with hand embroidery, sometimes it's nice to be able to hold across the hoop as you're stitching to really be able to hold the back fabric for any um, special stitches that you're doing. So um, you can use it whichever way you need, depending on your project. But I love that oval style. So we're excited to start using those. Next up, we've got these adorable little mini mats from OESD. There's uh, two mats in here. It's just these little small style mats. You can use them um, for the uh, perfect punch tool and also um, for cutting your buttonholes and any other little punching that you may need to do for bags or embroidery or that kind of thing. So um, they, they do have some, some specific uses and also I'm sure you could find lots of other things to, to do with them to have next to your sewing machine for any little cutting that you may need to do. Next up, we were super excited to get these Ponderosa thread glosses in. Um, we've been following uh, Ponderosa quilts for a long time. Um, so we were super excited to get these uh, and start selling them. They're very nice. They work just like your any of your thread waxes, but she has different scents that you can choose from. So the Olympic blend has a lovely lavender scent. The daydream has a more floral scent. Um, but as you can see, they come in these little uh, cases, kind of like I remember as a kid, they would come lip gloss would come in these, <laughs> which is super fun. And then they just slide open and you've got your thread wax in there. 
So these are very fun. We're super excited to have these in and start using them. Next up, we've got all of these uh, wonderful postcard quilts here. Um, postcard patterns. These are the ones that we love to use. So we've got some quilts and some table runners on here. The pattern is just on the back of all of these. So it goes together super quick. It's just one little postcard size, a uh, little piece of cardstock there. Lots of different options. This Kalinda pattern is the one that I was referring to earlier. It's one of our favorites. We've done lots of um, quilt kits with it before. We've picked out lots of different style quilts for this one. So we're just great, um, excited to have this one back in stock and to have even more options. Next up, we just wanted to um, shout out these two classes that we have coming up. We have the Diamond Days and also the Yannicka Jacket. So there's still space available in these two um, classes. So we have those coming up soon. And then we also have um, some examples of the um, red vinyl that we have in store. And so you can see this beautiful um, embroidery work on here. We wanted to show you these specifically because later on today, when we do our live stream on Whatnot, which I've mentioned before on here, um, it's an app where we do live streams and you can actually purchase things as you see them, which is really cool. Um, it really makes it kind of an interactive experience. So definitely download that and follow us on there. Um, but with this red vinyl, we're gonna be doing some giveaways later today on the app of this beautiful red vinyl. So we wanted to give you some examples of what you can do with it. So you can look forward to those giveaways later on today. We are going to be doing it at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So you can go on the app, find us under the Quilting Gi, and you'll be able to um, hit those notifications so you know when we go live. And from there, um, you can uh, get ready for that giveaway. We also have a coupon code that we're going to be uh, using on the app later. So we're going to be doing uh, $10 off your purchase. So anything that you buy in app, you will get that coupon for. Um, so we're very excited about that. That's going to be happening later today. Um, I think that's the uh, all the information we have so far for the next week is just that live stream later today. And um, to check out those two wonderful classes if you are interested in taking those. They teach you some new techniques that we're really excited about. Okay, well that comes to the end of our live stream today. Thank you so much for joining and we hope to see you later today on Whatnot.